There we go. Time for round two. So when I went to Toys R Us, I found those two key packs. Got excited. Then I turned my head to the left and I saw the the Dino Saber for the new season of Dino Charge. So I ran over there looking for the Morpher and I've actually been kind of looking forward to this thing. So this is the Dino Charge Morpher or the Gabu Revolver for those of you that want to be like that and for me to use the terminology. Um it's called the Dino Charge Morpher. I want to call it the Dino Revolver. So that's what I'm going to call it from now on. It is the Dino Revolver to me. So before I talk about this thing, let me look at the box. And get ready for some hilarity. I had to completely rip this thing apart just to get the two dino charges out. That is crazy. Everything's flying everywhere. So this is the little thing that had the dino charges in on the right side. This was taped down on the inside of this, and I can only open this up if I ripped it off from the rest of this. So in order to, I mean, the charger I can get out just by clipping a couple clips off, but these two I had to completely dismantle the entire packaging. My nose has been bugging me all day. So, my camera, don't sneeze. So let me show you the back of the box anyway. Picture of, um, Dino Charge Red. I, I give all the Power Ranger, Rangers Sentai style names, but I'm waiting until Dino Charge actually starts before I give them. I'm thinking of calling them based off of what this morpher labels each Dino Charger. So I'm get, he'll be called T-Rex Ranger or something. I'll wait until the show actually starts before to see if they actually do that. So it shows off him, shows off the morpher, it shows off how to use it, and it shows the, the saber which you can use to make the, it was called the Gabare Cannon in Kyoryuji. Uh I think it's going to be called the Dino Cannon, combined into Dino Cannon. Well, that's exactly what it says. And it even has an advertisement for more Dino Chargers. So there's the pile of box. And your two instruction sheets. This one tells you how to put the batteries in. And how to combine it with the sword. And this is a second one that tells you how to use. Now why am I talking about the instruction sheets? Because I love this thing. It's telling you how to... Put the dino charges in the thing. Push it in the chamber until it can no longer go in. Loud clicking sound will indicate the charger is and no longer going further until it's, until it's been properly inserted. Note, do not rely on Morpher's electronic sounds to ensure that the charger has been properly inserted. Well, how the heck can it make the sounds if it's not been properly inserted? If it's not properly inserted, then it probably won't be able to read the dang thing, right? Unless I've got a weird one. So here is the Dino Revolver, as I call it, itself. It's pretty slick, pretty streamlined. Not bad, not bad. Um, I was going to do a size comparison for, with this thing with the Legendary Morph to get an idea, but it's, it's alright. Um, do I have anything to compare it to that I could use that you guys might understand? No? This is a terrible thing to compare it to, but it's the closest thing I got. There's an idea. That was a terrible comparison, but just go with it. So, aesthetic-wise, it's slick. The handle's a bit small for my hands. I can only get three fingers on the thing, but that's not too bad. Um, this spins. A lot of people were worried that this wouldn't spin and this wouldn't open. It opens just fine. Um, the tail is different though because this is the position when it was when it was open. It was a bit higher up, but it's like this, and you just push it down, and it opens. And you can't do the close the mouth like this thing 
I've tried and I feel like I'm going to break it. So you just got to pull the tail back up. The on off switch is right here. The speaker is right there. It has to have the double barrel, the orange colored barrel things for like law or something here. Um, this part right here is for the combined mode with the, ch with the sword. I don't know what these are for. I'm thinking that's the clip to let go of the sword. Uh, it's missing the black stripe all on the top here, but that's not that big of a deal when you're looking at it from the side, which still has everything it needs. I think these were silver, if I remember correctly. Um, but paint-wise, it looks fine. I mean, the missing paint that it does have isn't enough to bug me. I mean, little silver stripes here, yeah, it's fine. The black up here, eh, whatever. As long as the key paint detail, like if the black on the sides was gone, then I'd have a problem. But the stuff on top, eh, it's not that big of a deal. So what does it come with? Well, it comes with the T-Rex and the Parasaurophilus. Now, in Kyoryuju, this was Gabutira and Parasagon. They're not using the Kyoryuja names. Instead, they're using the actual dinosaur scientific name. I actually kind of like this. For, well, it's teaching kids the dinosaur names. How cool is that? I mean, you know how kids are always interested in dinosaurs, right? Who wasn't interested in dinosaurs when they were younger? I was. It was one of my favorite things when I was growing up. I always got to that dinosaur chapter. The dinosaur and space chapters in my science classes were always the things I looked forward to, and I was always in love with learning about these kind of things. So this is actually good. And for someone like me who never knew what the heck Parasagon was, a Parasaurophilus, I didn't even know what the heck Parasagon was. I mean, I know who um, Zach Tor was. He was a, a raptor. Um, I knew he was a T-Rex, I knew Stegochi was a Stegosaurus, I knew Paragoldon was a Pterodactyl, I knew Droidicara was a Dryceratops, I knew Plesio was a Plesiosaurus, I knew Bragigas was a Bronchosaurus, but I never knew who the others were, like him, and Ankydon, and Bumpaki, and there was like what, Dino Chaser, and Kentoro Spiker, and Ovirampu, and Alamaris and all those others, I didn't know what the heck they were supposed to be. So this will be a little a little bit of a learning experience for me too. So now I know what the heck a Parasaurophilus is. I'm being taught dinosaurs by di Power Rangers. I'm not complaining. So these things are this about the same size as a US Ranger key. Take that and run with it. So the pegs are only on the back. There's a code for the Charger Scanner app, which is too advanced for my crappy little phone. I mean, my phone could barely run the Key Scanner app. So, I mean, the Power Ranger, the Dino Charge one uses like 3D models and all that stuff, and it's just not going to work. I won't be able to use it. Speaking of that, we got the Dino Charge theme song from the app, and I love the theme song because it reminds me of how Zeo's was done. Keep the GoGo -Go Power Rangers. But put your own twist on it and have something leading into it, unlike what Samurai Megaforce did and basically copied and pasted that one verse of the Mighty Morphin theme like three or four times. That's what made the Zeo's theme so cool. It was its own thing, it was its own thing, and then it put the Go Go Power Ranger thing in as like a last close up thing. And that's exactly what the Dino Charge theme did, and I love it. I'm already looking forward to the season. Judlin, this new theme song. An original villain. I'm looking forward to it. I really am excited for Dino Charge because Kyoryuji had a lot of room for improvement, and I trust Judd Lin so much because of space and time force, and I think he worked on a little bit on RPM. So this is the T-Rex Charger. Two things you'll notice: one, the eyes aren't painted yellow, no big deal. One, the number isn't painted white. I know you can't see it, but it's just a one outline. Um, this is still there. On the back, it has Tyrannosaurus Rex. It's too tiny. Once again, it's just a black outline colored the rest of it. It's not white font. For some reason, I don't know why they did that. I would have liked for the number to be painted in white throughout all of them like they were in Kyoryuji, like the Judenshi were. So, you know how they had the flip gimmick where you push this in, it flips it. 
Well, this has four. It has the empty, half charge, full charge, half charge again, empty. I actually really like that. It flips pretty fluently. You got to kind of push down on it a little bit, but nothing too bad. So here's the Parasaurophilus one. The number's a little bit easier to see because it's white outlined on black. Still with the thing there. Parasaurophilus on the back. You can't read it because my camera sucks. And then the charging. So I do like these Judenci. Once again, like I said, with the Ranger Keys, I have no um, Judenci. I like the chargers. They're really cool. Real serum. And they actually feel like the actual size of real batteries. Um... I might have to actually put these up to like an actual actual batteries and see what they what these things could be compared to. That's funny because I was telling my dad, I was like, this thing only came with batteries. He's like, that's it? And I was like, yeah. And I was like, well, good. And I don't have to put batteries in it. I'm like, no, these. And he's like, oh, wait, those are actual batteries? Like, yeah, they even had the little pl uh, positive and negative symbols on the sides of them. He's like, oh, that's what you meant by batteries. Like, yeah. Well, also came with the batteries that make this thing actually work, too. That was a fun little conversation. So turn it on. Light in the barrel. That's how you know it's on. Nothing happens when you spin it. <clears throat> so it has three firing sounds. Let me hold it like this. I said the speaker's right here. And now for my favorite one. I like that dinosaur roar noise that it has. I like that one. So that's all it really does in this mode. Just open it up. Let's take the T-Rex charger. Just do that for the fun of it. And there is only one slide. There's no double barrel for two of these. So... A lot of people are mad at that. I don't find it that big of a deal. But then again, I never had the Gabu revolver. So I don't know how cool it actually is in person. So once again, do what that manual said and don't rely on the sounds of the thing. You just push it all the way in. It'll make that sound. Nothing. Everything's locked. And then close it. Now I know, I'm not sure how it's well it's picking it up, but for some reason when I have a really loud noise, my camera records and kind of distorts it, so I might hold it like this so it'll kind of go this way so you can kind of hear it a little bit cleaner. Let me do that again, just in case. So it said T-Rex Charger Engage. The guy that says T-Rex Charger Engage is the guy that did the announcer for the Morphin Madness website. It's pretty dang obvious. And then it says Energize. Can I just say, though, that the guy that did the Morphin Madness thing made this thing sound like a, a Kamen Rider driver? Because the Kamen Rider drivers always have this kind of fancy kind of masculine voice to him. And when I first heard this thing for the first time, it, sounded, it reminded me of a common Rider driver. I actually kind of like that. So with, without spinning it, it still has the basic charge sounds until you spin the barrel. So we have something that resembles a morphing sound. I don't know if that's the morphing sound they're actually going to use, but when you hear that little conk, conk, it sounds like, you know, the T's closing, T's closing. So we might get that. And it says Tyrannosaurus Rex, the name of the dinosaur, and then it says Power Ranger Red, associating with the Red Ranger. I like that. So if you spin it again, it'll do the morphing thing over again. But if you press the thing, you get a final attack sound. Okay, cool. Let me... I'm 
I'm kind of doing it from both sides just in case my camera decides not to pick this up properly. So once again, there's another dinosaur roar kind of thing in the final block. I like that they added little dinosaur roar-ish type sounding noises in this thing. Really cool. So that's the T-Rex charger. So all you do is open it up. And there are two buttons on the side here that you just push and he just kind of... <laughs> Bleh. So keep that in mind, it just falls out of the dang thing. So let's... Paraceropolis. Let me do it from over here, just in case. Paracharger engage. So they use like shortened versions of the dinosaur name. So I'm, I'm assuming if they keep use this terminology in the show, I'm gonna call the Black Ranger Para Ranger or something. So once again, spin the barrel. Parasauropolis. So once again, it says the dinosaur name and the ranger. So it said Ranger Black. Um, and once again, it has the same finisher, final attack sound, regardless of what battery you have in here. It really doesn't matter. There's no dual specialized final attacks like OV Rampu farting or anything like that. So that kind of thing is something that you were wanting out of this. Too bad. Um, bleh. <laughs> Let me just turn it off. So what do I think of this thing? Well, at first I was actually kind of hesitant because I didn't... I mean, the only reason why I got the Legendary Morpher and stuff at first was because I, was, I knew I was going to be addicted to the Ranger key, so I wanted all the keys. But then I was wondering about, should I get the Dino Charger Morpher, Dino Revolver? And then I started to see some of the reviews come out about it, and I kind of liked the sounds, and then these things look cute, and then I got it, and I started playing with it yesterday, and... Well, I actually really like this thing now. Like I said, I can't directly compare it to the Gabber Revolver. I don't have it. It's kind of a little bit out of my price range. Um, but if you're one of those people like me, and you can't get it, or you haven't seen Cure Uger, and you just want the Power Ranger stuff, this thing is actually really fun. Um... I still don't think it comes close to the Ghost anymore for going from Mega Force, where we had all the cards and everything. It was a good size, a lot of sounds. And the cards had two functions with that awesome card game that I wish they were still making cards for. And for that, had a ton of sounds in it. Everybody loved the Ghost anymore for it's probably one of the best Power Ranger Morphers they've ever made. Legendary Morpher I still enjoyed, even though I wish it kind of had more sounds and gave the aliens their own sound. This thing I still think is pretty fun, though. It's a, it's a, just like I just like with the Ranger keys. It's fun to use the keys in the Morpher. It's fun to put the batteries in the Morpher. It's one of those things where you do it and you kind of feel like you're a Ranger. So you kind of have like that... Oh yeah, this feels so nice type of thing. That sounds disgusting. But you know what I mean. It's like a, it's a psychological thing. Um, <clears throat> just have fun utterly destroying the box when you try to get your chargers out. That was a mess. Um, I was saving this jumbled pile of cardboard just so I could show you. Those review, I'm chunking this whole thing afterward. Um... I'm trying to see how many batteries it takes. Three LR44s. That's not, that's kind of a lot. The Legendary Morph and the Ghost Day Morph only took two. This one takes three. This one has, takes a little bit more power than the other two did. Um, but if it's like the Legendary Morph, these are probably really cheap and it'll die on me because you saw what happened to my Legendary Morph. I put a key in and it started freaking the crap out. Uh, that's a terrible way to show that your batteries are dying, make the thing act like it's broken. So, I actually recommend the thing if you're curious. 
I'm personally really excited for Dino Charge. Everything I've seen and heard about it's looking good. It looks very promising. So, you know, maybe that's why I got it. Maybe the hearing the theme song, seeing the trailer, seeing the new villain, Judd Lynn and everything, maybe I got excited and I'm on the hype train for the season. That's probably why I got it. I'm I'm definitely gonna get the sword because I wanna make the combined mode and it comes with um the Raptor Charger, the Velociraptor Charger for green. And that'll give me another one of these. If it's like the Super Mega Saber, I'll love it because the Super Mega Saber, you can bash the Super Mega Force toy line and the show all you want to. That sword was amazing. And I want to make the combined mode because that actually has some functionality with this thing. It has the blaster, the Gabare Cannon as it was called. It's going to be called the Dino Cannon. And I'll get another Charger that way. The Megazord I might get. The only reason why I got the Legendary Morph was because my brother thought it was cool. And then I got it. I was like, oh, these add-ons are actually kind of fun. I still need to review the Mini Zord. I'll get to that later. Um, But the reviews of the Legend, the Dino Charge Megazord are actually looking really awesome. So I might get it just because the toys look good. Um, I'm actually really excited for Dino Charge for the next two years. Two years. Uh, so I hope it's good. I'm looking forward to see how they handle Gold's Morpher. If it's like the other six Ranger Morphers, it probably won't be anything worth it. Um, I wonder if we'll get a counterpart to the Giga Gabu Revolver. Maybe they'll just repaint this thing and resell it or something. Um, what about Mini Tira? The Samba de Carnival. Mini Tira. That's the thing I'm the most interested about. How are they going to handle that? Are we going to get a um, a plus one? Are we going to get a victory and a maximize charger? The two that were used as a carnival's finisher move. Are we going to be getting legendary ranger team dino chargers? Like, Kyoryuger, I believe, had um, Judenchi for... Correct me if I'm wrong, every Sentai team that came before it, which was kind of cool. Um, I would like an in-space charger. That'd be nice. Actually, I'd like a charger for every team except for Overdrive. So you can go screw itself. Bazinga, another shot at Overdrive. Um, but yeah, I'm actually really excited to see where this line goes. Um, the app showed fossil variants of every charger. Basically what it is is that... And so when it's empty like this, it has the skeleton instead of the actual thing. I'm wondering what that's about. If that's just like the clear or metallic, or like, you know, how you got a key in the key pack and you got a key in the Zord and the paint was different. I wonder if that's what it's going to be. Seeing how they can't do different paint variations of the thing, they just release a fossil one. I'm wondering how those are going to be distributed. I'm wondering what the purpose of them are, if they're going to have different sounds, maybe, possibly. I doubt it, because I saw that the the circuit board on this thing was a, ow, was a five pin system, and I think all the pin uh, things were used up. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, so yeah, the Dino Charge stuff is here. Dino Charge is among us. In February, it will be here. I'm looking forward to it. And yay.